All right, how's everybody doing? Thanks for tuning in. Doing a little amp test video here. This one's for Keith, and uh, he's ordered off me before, so I appreciate you being a repeat customer. Uh, these little guys here, man, I'll tell you, uh, what, a, what a bang for the buck. No frills, uh, you know, nothing like that. It's not nothing fancy. Uh, you know, it's got, it's got the thin wire on it, okay? This is your, your budget type rate uh, amp here. So uh, the custom guys, you know, will they make a nicer, prettier amp? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, but this one here works. So, you know, sometimes when you're buying amps uh, and I don't care who you who you get or who you go through or whatever, um, you know, cause I'm, I'm friends with a lot of the amp builders, uh, just as, as long as it works, right? If you're happy with it, then, then cool. So let's uh, let's show you what this one's doing. Okay, I already got it set up here, dialed in. I'm going to show you what we're putting into it for drive. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So once it calms down, once the LP calms down, it's about 45 watts, let's call it, okay? Uh, it's about 45 watts of drive. Now, I am running this off of the Astron, okay, which the Astron is at 14 and a half over here. So we're not doing nothing crazy with the voltage, you know, we're not, we're not, a lot of guys will say, oh, well, you tested it at 15.5. My car, truck, or whatever only does, uh, you know, 12 volts. Or how come you couldn't show the video at 12 volts? Well, you know, maybe you are at 12 volts, but a lot of guys are at, everybody's at different voltages. So I can't do a video and show every single voltage uh, from 12 to, to 16 volts. Uh, it's just, you know, not practical. So just kind of, uh, if you're running at a lower voltage or higher voltage, Take a guesstimate as, as what it may do for you. But here's where we're at at 14 and a half. Let me make sure my mic gains up. Yeah. Radio check. How about it? One, two, three, four, five. So this one's uh definitely, definitely getting with it here. So some of these come in a little bit less. Well, some of them come in, you know, right around 300. Um, this one here is one of the hotter ones. And that's the thing too. Some, I don't know why, I guess it just depends on the batch of components they get that day or whatever, or somebody put it together on a Monday versus they put it together on a Friday and uh, they had a good night out with the girlfriend or who the hell knows, you know, the thing's swinging though. I, I don't know what's going on, but yeah, sometimes they come out a little bit better. One, two, three, four, five. So you're talking like 350. We'll put this guy on here, peak. Hey, radio, check, 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 audio, if you can see that, let me, let me zoom in here, let me zoom on, in on the meter, audio, so yeah, right around 350-ish, okay, and yeah, it's going into a dummy load, so if you, if, you know, if that's a problem for you, uh, can't help it, so I've already shown antenna versus dummy load before on my bench, doesn't make much of a difference, if any, and uh that's just the way i'm testing it but i did want you know some and then some guys are going to say well yeah you know it's got good numbers and this and that but uh it doesn't have a fan is it going to get hot you know i'm scared of heat um heat really freaks me out and they wanted they want the thing to run at a certain temperature like you know uh 32 degrees you know they they think it's like it should be just like ice cold um it's not going to happen it's going to make heat Okay, you're talking transistors, you're talking pulling amperage. You, I mean, what are you going to do? It's going to create heat. So just don't be stupid with it and uh, keep your carrier at a good level and don't don't lay, you know, don't fall asleep and uh, lay on your microphone and, and key it up all night. So, you know, that's all I could really tell you. If you, if you don't do that, I mean, these things last. I really don't ever hear of anybody blowing these things up um, except for, you know, guys... It's too long on the key that's really or or they just have too high of a dead key so that's another thing too is um a lot of guys buy these amps and i and i really try to stress this you please please have a watt meter in line um if you're just hooking this up to your radio and you're guessing um that's on you you know don't don't blame the amp then if it's if it goes kaploo all right so uh you got to kind of you know use the old noodle and uh you know be smart about it so that's all I could say really about these. I just wanted to show this one. Um, he's, you know, he's a good customer. I want to do a little demo video for him. And uh, 
get this one out the door for you, uh, Keith. So I do appreciate it. And, uh, you know, you figure for the price, I, I don't I don't really see how you could go wrong. Um, this is, oh, I forgot to say, this is two uh, by 2879s. Jeez, I almost forgot to say what the heck I was testing. So <laughs> it's a two pill 2879s, not C's, okay? Now the funny thing is if you put this kind of drive, okay, into a C box, you're gonna really see about the same output. Um, those C boxes really need more drive to get the numbers out of them. So if you only have a, like a 45 watt radio, you're better off just going with the standards. Um, if you got a radio that'll do closer to 100, then then yeah, get the C's and, and then you'll benefit from uh, from actually having the, the better transistors, okay? Thank you much, guys. Hope to get some more videos going out here uh, in the near future and uh, appreciate everybody's uh, support and we'll catch you again another time. So the Radio Garage, we're off the key.